Hello my people, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Agnes. In today's tutorial, I will show you how I made this multicolored ruffled skirt. It's quite easy and simple to make and you can be able to make it in any size. This is not the first time I'm making this skirt. I already have a tutorial on how to make it in a pencil skirt. However, later when I had made the tutorial, I made it with ruffles in this plain white and I loved it. And when Tony from TL Yarn Craft sent me this colored yarn i was like this is the project this is the project i thought of and i wanted to remake this card with these bright colors and i love the outcome i hope you like it too i'm working on a cardigan a matching cardigan and it will be our next tutorial so of course the length can be adjusted i know it's very short and most of you would not wear this but yeah you can adjust the length to whatever length you want or do away with the ruffles anyway so yeah i hope you like it and we are just going to get straight into the tutorial in the tutorial we are going to be using this yarn this yarn is from hobby it's called happy place and it is a collaboration between hobby and uh, tl yarn crafts and it's basically a size three it has solid colors and mirage colors so this is like a, a solid color it's 50 percent wool and 50 percent cotton i was surprised on of how soft this yarn is it's really very soft and it is 250 meters each 100 grams it recommends a five millimeter but i'll be sizing down because it is a skirt you want your stitches to be a little bit tight so that it is not a see-through so it is just different color colors this is a mirage and we have solid colors she sent me eight kinds and i'm hoping they'll be able to finish the cardigan and the skirt so these are the colors that i'm using it's seven colors the cream is you know tw twice all right so like i said it is size three and it recommends uh, a five millimeter hook but i will be using a 3.5 millimeter hook because yeah like i said i like to size down because it is a skirt you don't want to, to, to be a see-through you will need a scissor tape measure and a stitch marker so this is our skirt and this is how we are going to work it this is where we start we're going to make a foundation chain that is this length up to here before the ruffles so measure yourself from your waist to where you want your skirt to reach just before the ruffles and know how long you want it to be mine is micro micro short i only did 10 inches long so you can make it longer 15 inches or whatever and then once we are done with the skirt we work from side to side join it together and then do the ruffles last all right so up 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 here <laughs> up there is the single crochets for the waist and then down for the from the hips downwards we are working half double crochets and for the colors we'll just be changing as you wish it's not uh you know i, I was just changing every time i thought i should change some i was making it longer on some rows shorter on some just you know not uh how do i call it i don't know the english word so yeah you just look at them they are not even they're just you know can i say asymmetrical i don't know i don't know the english word but you get it so it's not that even and that i wanted this look so yeah this is let's get into it all right so we are going to start with a foundation chain so measure yourself from your waist downwards and see how many inches you want then make that number of chains okay so we are going to make chains equivalent to the length length of our skirt from our waist downwards before we put the ruffles the ruffles come last all right so i wanted 10 inches it's very short i wanted it that short if you've seen the pictures of the ones i did before they were longer but i wanted this to be very short because i'm working on limited yarn we are going to be working two colors on every row so just make a few chains of one color and then measure that and then make uh, more chains for the other color it doesn't it doesn't have to be half half it can be quarter three quarters or i don't know half half you know whatever you want 
they don't have to be the same number of chains. So you will just join your other yarn like this and then continue. Just continue to make your chains until you have the length of your skirt that you need. All right, so it's two colors per row. Okay, we are only changing two, color, two colors per row. All right, so let's see how many inches I have. I have about nine and I wanted about 10. So I'll make a few more uh, chains. Yeah, I have what I need. So we are going to start on row one. I have 10 inches. That's my length. This is about, I don't know, uh, 16, 26 centimeters. 26 centimeters for me. But this is short. So make it longer if you want to. All right. So. I'll give you the, the sizes later, but for the length, you just need to know your own kind of length that you like. So we are going to skip the first stitch and then we are going to go into the second stitch and make a single crochet. Single crochets, these are for the waist, okay? So you can make more single crochets or less, but this is three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 okay so i made 15 single crochets and these make up our waistband because we want our waistband our waist, our waist is smaller than our hips so that's why i was in single crochets and then half double crochets on the hip side okay so this part is for the waist and this is three inches on my white skirt i had about 20 so it was like a bigger waistband so this is up to you you can make 18 you can make 20 or you can like make less depending on how big you want your waistband to be so now we are going to start on our, the below part you know from down our waist to our hips and we're going to be using half double crochets so put a stitch marker so that you know where your 15th uh, stitch is and from now on you yarn over and then you make half double crochet in every stitch until you get to the bottom so just pull this yarn to tighten it a bit okay so you're you're just going to make half double crochets with half double crochets uh this is how you change color you don't finish your last once you get your last uh color uh, stitch you just leave the half double crochet unfinished and then drop the yarn you drop the yarn then get the other yarn and pull it through to make to finish the half double crochet and then now you'll just go on with your uh with my uh this other color okay till the bottom all right So we are going to be dropping our yarn on one side. So where we are dropping our yarn is going to be the in, inside and then this other part that I'm working on, on facing me is the outside. So we'll be dropping our yarn only in one side. That is the behind side. That will be our outer side. I mean inside side. Huh? Yes. All right. Anyway, we are going to go all the way to the bottom and I will meet you here. So I came all the way and I'm about to get to my last stitches. This is my second last. and uh, This is going to be my last stitch. So for the half double crochets, once we turn, we chain two. 
we chain make two chains turn our work all right this is on the side of the half double crochets and the chain two does not count as a stitch so we start in this very first stitch right here that is going to be our first half double crochet and we are going to make half double crochets until we get to the place where we need to change color and then i will show you how to change the color so it's half double crochets in every stitch until you get to where you need to change color or if you get to where you need to change to single crochets but our color change is still on the half double crochet so i'll do half double crochet in every stitch until i get to where i need to change color where i need to change color <laughs> all right so i have one stitch left and i need to change color right to the orange so i will make an incomplete half double crochet i have my three loops there then now we are dropping the yarn to the front because we are only dropping yarn on the front so now you pull it to the front like this and the orange is already in the front because we had dropped it before we turned and now you're going to pick it like this and then use it to finish that half double crochet like this and then you're now just going to continue with your half double crochets until you get to where the single crochets are i think i only have two stitches of orange here for the half double crochet and then i start on the on the single crochets this is supposed to be single crochet where there's my stitch marker so it's single crochets all the way to the end and for me they are 15 for my waist so my waist bound you can also do 15 or do 18 or do 20 depending on how is it thick or long you want it to be okay so i'll see at the end so i came to the end this is my 15th 15th single crochet and then i'm going to chain one turn my work and i'm going to work 15 single crochets so for single crochets we are chaining only one on the part of half double crochets we are chaining two that is if at the moment when we need to turn to make a new row okay so if you're the side of single crochets you chain one and if you're the side of half double crochets you chain two before you begin your new row so 15 single crochets and then i start my half double crochets all right single crochets are for the waist half double crochets are from the waist downwards okay so you can always change your uh, stitch marker to the new row or sometimes you just know like i know when i you know i'm done with my 15 so now i'm going to start on my half double crochets i have two half double crochets i have two half double crochets uh, of orange so i'll make two half double crochets and then change color so this one don't finish it like i did because we need to change color we need to change color before it is finished so yeah just make it unfinished once you have three loops like this <coughs> then now you drop it we're dropping now it goes to the back because we are dropping on one side okay so now it goes to the back so i pull through like this and then continue with my half double crochets with this new color all right i'll see you at the end here All right, so I'm at the end of my, is it row three? Yeah, I think it's row three. I'm at the end of row three. And these are going to be my last stitches. So don't forget to put a stitch. This is going to, or is going to be your last stitch right here. If you forget that, then you'll have less stitches and your skirt will not be straight at the bottom because you'll, you know, you'll have some stitches missing. So chain two, turn your work. 
chain two does not count as a stitch so we put in this very first stitch and i'm going to make half double crochets until i get to where i need to change color if you feel like you want now to make the white longer than it is then <clears throat> once you get to changing color you don't change immediately just carry on your yarn to a few stitches more but i will see you here <coughs> So at this point, I want to change uh, color to a new one. So I need to make this halfway <laughs> and then change my color. And this is like a bluish. Okay, so this is my new color. And as you can see, it's not starting from where the or orange is. I started it early. And since we are changing color, I bring this to the front because we are on that side and just continue with the blue so it's half double crochets and we are weaving in the ends of this blue as we go so that we don't have to do that later okay so just uh, carry on with that tail as you go and this blue is replacing my orange so <coughs> In this case, I'll just carry on with the orange uh, for a short while. <coughs> I didn't do that, but I should have done that because <laughs> the work becomes easier after that. Okay, just carry on with the orange and then cut it off. All right, so now I'm the part of single crochets. Don't forget that. I need to do my 15 single crochets for the waist. All right, so... So make sure you cut that orange off and then leave a small tail so that you weave it in as you go so that you don't have to weave it in way later because that will be stressful, okay? <coughs> uh, go on with single crochets, then do single crochets back. I'll see you here. So I went with single crochets to the end, came with single crochets back up, then did my half double crochets. Now I need to do the color change, all right? So... I need to change color so i'll just cut this off and i'm going to be using this very beautiful color it's like a burnt orange but it's really looks like really looks good all right so <coughs> now we do this incomplete one and since our wrong side is on the other side i am going to <coughs> attach this from here and drop the blue i drop the blue the other side and then attach this new color that's going to replace the the cream all right so drop the blue and we carry this tail of the burnt orange with us so that we don't have to weave it in later. All right. So we are always dropping the, <coughs> the yarn unless you want to carry it a little bit forward so that you make your row of, the, I mean, the color that you're working with a bit longer on that row. I don't know whether it makes sense but you see how my colors are not in one straight line so that's what i was doing okay so go to the end then turn your work and do that and do that and yeah i'll just come to show you one more time how to <coughs> change those colors or how to move that color to a, a longer distance something like that i don't know how to explain it okay we are only dropping yarn in one side all right so that here is clean and the other side is kind of not so i wanted to show you i want to carry this yarn a bit more to here so i want to show you that it's it's quite easy i just want to show you <laughs> it's it's not anything complicated so we'll just carry this blue because i still want to use the blue i don't want to cut it off yet i want to work the orange the burnt orange a bit a bit a little bit longer so i'll just carry my blue without cutting it like this 
until to the point where I feel like I want my orange to stop, my burnt orange, and then drop the burnt orange and carry on with the blue. Okay. <coughs> and the number of rows for each color are not the same. Some I'm doing six, some I'm doing five, some I'm doing four. You know, it, it, it's what makes it look a bit unique because everything is not like uniform. So now I drop my orange and then continue with the blue. And as you can see now, the the orange, the burnt orange is, you know, it has that, it's, it's varying between how we started the rose and now how, where it is, it's longer and, you know, and then the blue is now shorter on this side and it's just, yeah. So always count your stitches if there are 15 single crochets so that you're not messing up and you're just going to continue this until you have these measurements. So see your size and see how many inches that you need to make or centimeters i don't know i gave everything this time around so i'm doing a size extra small for me so this is what i have from side to side and this is for extra small i'm um, hips 33 so <clears throat> as you can see this is how i was changing the colors you know it was random i you know i was just I had seven colors and I was just changing here and there some on the lower side, some on the upper side, just mixing it up, some small, smaller rows and some a little bit bigger, you know, yeah, just mix it up and let's see what you come up with. So when I measure, I'm not measuring from the very bottom, I'm just going like about here. I have 25 inches for me, that is an extra small and now I want to join this skirt all right so we are making less than our hips measurements because it is stretchy and we want as you can see when you see it on me it's a bit tight it's not loose and it looks better when it's tight on you so you my hips measurements are usually 33 so i just took my hips measurements and subtracted eight same as for the measurements i gave you all right so this is how long it is. It's not 10 inches anymore because I made tight stitches. It's way shorter than expected, but it is all right. Um, yeah. So check the chart, see how many inches you need to do and don't be like, oh, that's not my hips measurements. No, we are taking off eight inches from your hips measurements or 20 centimeters from your hips measurements because it is stretchy. Okay, we need to cater for that. So this is the how it looks. Just fold it in, fold it into two. Uh, leave a long uh, tail because we need to sew with our darning needle. And yeah, so let's do that. And we are sewing on the right side. This is the right side. Okay, the wrong side is inside. So. There's probably better uh, sewing methods out there, but I used the simplest that I could find. And I'm just going to go with my needle into these first <coughs> stitches at the top. Like this. And like this. Both ends, both loops. And just to secure it like this. Okay, so I'm going to be coming from the inside like this and then to the other side also from the inside like that. From the inside and then to the other side on the inside. to From inside to the outside, inside to the outside like this. I don't know the name for this. They, they are technical names, but I'm not that. Yeah, I don't know most crochet technical terms for all this stuff. I just do what works best. Uh, yeah, if you know the name for this, just drop it in the comments because I don't know how they call it. All right, and then you just pull it as you go, pull it as you go, pull it as you go until you get to the bottom and I'll see you there so that we can do the ruffles. It's a quick project. 
So this is how it looks. You can hardly tell where I joined, but I can see it right here. All right, so we are now going to do the ruffles at the bottom. This is my best part. I love ruffles. If you followed me from back three years ago, you know, my like my favorite ever skirt that made me who I am, that made AC was a ruffled skirt. So big up to you. Anyway, I'm just going to start from whenever, wherever, just pick a spot and start from there. So I'm going to use all my seven colors. Okay. So I'll just start with whatever. This is like the pinkish one, the lighter version of the, is it? No, it's not pink. What color is this? I've forgotten it. Anyway, just pick any color that you wish to use as your number one. I'm going to use this. And <laughs> we are going to be using uh, half double crochets. And we are going to be increasing. So it will be two stitches in every stitch. So I'll show you where I'm. I'm placing them but you can place them differently it is going to be six stitches in every two rows all right and by two rows I mean the half double crochets rows that we're working vertical we are now working on them around them so they are still two rows so it's two six double crochets in two rows six double crochets in two rows so it doesn't matter how you place them this is how i'm placing them okay <clears throat> i'm placing two at the top there and then two in yeah this is the top two at the top of i don't know how to call it like it's at the peak two at the peak two in uh in one of the double of the half double crochets like this row straight here right there just look i don't know how to explain it and then two in the valley so in this is my valley right then i place two in the valley so those are already six in two half double crochet so this is my peak i put two in the peak Two in this half double crochet right there. And then two in the valley. This valley right here. All right. Okay. And then I go again. Two in the peak. Two in the double crochet right here next or you can call it the next stitch but i'm just referring to that because it's from like vertical it's a half double crochet row and then two in the valley and then you start again two in the peak two in the half double crochet two in the valley and then two in the peak like that so this is the half double crochet and then that's the valley all right half double crochet row here and then the valley okay so two in the half double crochet row and then two in the valley uh, this is the best that i can do to explain it but if you look closely then you can see so two in the peak two in this stitch here <coughs> and then two in the valley so you're going to do that until you get to the end. It's, of course, more stitches. And then we'll go to the next row and make more increases. And I'll see you at the end of this very fast row of increases so that I we can finish it off and start on the new one. All right. See you at the end.
so i'm at the end and this is how it's looking so far if you don't like like very tight ruffles then you can just close it off and you know get loose ruffles which are also very pretty by the way or if you want more dense ones like i have then just oh we are going to be changing color after every row so just then go ahead and do the next step but if you don't want them so tight then you can just do one from now you can do one single crochet in every stitch and that's okay they'll be loose and nice but if you want them tight and and dense as mine then we are going to do more increases so just get your next color and for me it's going to be the orange insert your we are working in one direction okay we are working round and round okay so reattach your yarn and chain two <coughs> uh, this chain two does not count as a stitch so we are going to make this as our first half double crochet so only one stitch in that very first one and then in the next two stitches we will increase so in this stitch we'll make two half double crochets and into the next stitch we'll also make two half double crochets However, in the third stitch, we'll only do one. So we are increasing two stitches and then no increase. Excuse me. So the next is going to be an increase. So we are going to make two half double crochets in one stitch. And then the next stitch is going to be an increase. So two half double crochets in one stitch. And then the next one is just one half double crochet okay so you know what's next it's two stitches of increase and then our next one is no increase at all so it's just going to be one half double crochet so you're just going to keep repeating this until you get to the end of the round and i'll meet you so we've come to the end of the round and we are just going to slip stitch on top of that chain two <coughs> or half double crochet and then chain one cut your yarn and start on our next round make sure you weave in those ends as you go so get your next yarn and for me this is going to be this light blue reattach your yarn chain two and the, we only have two rows of increase so for this row you're just going to do half double crochets just one half double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end no more increases okay just one half double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end um at the moment crocheting in the night so the quality of my video just goes down with a bad lighting all right so you're just going to continue do the doing this you know go around changing colors go around changing colors until you have enough rows that you feel are comfortable for you and then i will see you once you're done just keep going around no more increases okay all right so this is what i have and i did seven rows of uh ruffles all the colors that i had and i hope you like the skirt i i can't wait to see what you make and what colors you use so please uh for the yarn i'm going to leave the details in the comment section there is uh black black friday going on right now with a uh, hobby and they have like crazy crazy offers so i will leave the link my affiliate link in the comment section and you can use that or you know you can use any other yarn that you like however please don't forget to subscribe and share this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next tutorial which will be the cardigan okay bye